Hey, what's going on everyone? No zoo for you here, and you are watching some USS California gameplay. And I am a pretty big fan of the USS California. I will admit that I'm a little biased though, because I love all things United States Navy, and especially all things United States Navy battleships. I'm a little disappointed that this is the USS California and not the USS Tennessee, the lead ship in the Tennessee class, but you know what? That's okay. I can live with this because the Tennessee is a cool ship. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Love looking at it. They modeled it great. And I've actually covered this ship a while back, several months ago when we first started testing this ship. I, I can't remember how long ago it was at this point because we received it, they took it away, and now I've got it back. So I'm hoping that this means that it's going to be coming out pretty soon. I don't know for sure. Now, in playing this ship, the Tennessee, excuse me, the California, see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that a lot now, just because I was so hoping for the USS Tennessee. Um, in playing this ship, I really haven't noticed a lot different, and I, I haven't seen any notes on this ship to see if it is different, so if you really want to know the lowdown of this ship, I'll throw the link up in the description of this video, which I originally covered way back when we first got it. It's still got nice guns, it still hits hard, it's still slow, it's still got good AA, it's still eh, a little squishy for a battleship, but that's not surprising because it's a tier 7 battleship, and it's still fun, and I still love the way it looks. So not much has changed on that front. So I want to talk more about USN battleships as a whole. And I'm hoping that the fact that this ship has reappeared not only means that it's going to be coming out soon, but I'm hoping it's a precursor to us getting a United States Navy battleship line split. I think it's going to happen. And you know me. You know I've been saying that I want this. I've wanted it for a very, very long time. And honestly, I think the evidence is out there that we're going to get it. Eventually. Maybe even this year, I'm hoping. Now, that's just being completely optimistic. Who knows? We're probably going to get a couple more Russian lines of God knows what, maybe CVs first. I mean, we already know that we're getting paper German aircraft carriers. I mean, who wanted those, right? Seriously. But no, I'm holding out hope that we're going to get a USN battleship line split in the near future. And by near future, I mean this year or next year. I really think this ship, the California, is going to lead the way to that. And the reason I think that is, you can obviously put the sister ship, the lead ship, the USS Tennessee, in there at maybe even Tier 6. You know, California is a Tier 7, but chances are you could shoehorn the Tennessee in there at Tier 6 and then work your way up. There are ships we're missing, ships that players want to see, ships like USS Nevada, ships like the USS Washington, even the New Jersey or the Wisconsin. People want to see those Iowa ships in there. There's a lot that Wargaming can do right now with a split. Honestly, I would like to see the split look something kind of like what we've got with the Georgia and with the Ohio. Some very fast battleships. Well, not necessarily very fast, because you know your lower tiers aren't going to be fast. That's just the way USN battleships are. They're slow, especially the lower tiers. They don't get fast until you get up to the higher tiers with ships like the North Carolina, that class. So, in a split, ideally, I would like to see secondary builds, following in the tradition of the Georgia. So, perhaps, maybe, if they do start a tier 6 with Tennessee, we might get a secondary Tennessee. You know, California might have better Sigma, who knows? Whereas the Tennessee might have less armor or something like that. I, I don't know. I don't know how they would do it. All I know is it's possible. And working up through the line, you can add those other ships in there. You can put the USS Washington in there. You know, I, I wouldn't even mind seeing USS New Jersey at Tier 10. I really think that you could put it in there. Really, the Iowa classes, I feel, should have been Tier 10s. If you look at how they handled in real life, I mean, they were at the top of the game. They, they were apex predators. I mean, we've all seen the videos about 
who would win, Yamato or Iowa? And it was pretty much a toss-up. And even though the Iowa ha class has smaller guns, those guns were effectively just as good as Yamato's guns, because they're the super heavy rounds. So really, you could theoretically put New Jersey up at tier 10, give it a secondary loadout, maybe give it a little buff to its HP. I mean, you're going to need some more hit points for survivability, but you could do that. That's just one option because they've already gone the paper route with Ohio and, you know, they, that's kind of eliminated what could have been the tier 10 right there. I mean, honestly, we could have had a split already with these ships that have come out. We could have had a split because of the Georgia and the Ohio and now the California and the West Virginia. That's basically a split right there in its own. So in a way, we've gotten a split. But I want to see that actual tech tree sh split with actual ships that we're missing right now that we really won. And yes, that includes the newer West Virginia that we have not got yet. Which Wargaming said we were going to get. Who knows where it's at. You know, you could put that at Tier 7 or Tier 8. Maybe Washington at Tier 9. I mean, we know it had great aim in World War II. That ship was a badass. Only battleship to sink another battleship in one-on-one -on -one combat in World War II. So why not put that at Tier 9 and New Jersey at Tier 10? And, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking here what could be done. But I'm also interested to know what you all think. I know a lot of you want to see this tier split. This tech tree split of battleships. I know a lot of you have wanted it for a long time. You've said so. How would you split it? What tier would you split it at? How would you do it? What United States Navy battleships do you want to see in there that we don't have yet? I mean, I've, I've laid out a couple of the ones that I think are absolutely necessary. USS Washington. Definitely. I mean, that ship's just got too much history in it not to be in the game. I'd like to see USS New Jersey only because that's kind of my home battleship. It's right up the street from me. And by right up the street, I mean way up I-95, about three and a half hours from here in New Jersey. USS Wisconsin is just as much a home ship to me because that's actually in my state. But I feel a stronger connection to the New Jersey, and I, I feel that the New Jersey has done a lot more historically than the Wisconsin. I think New, New Jersey would be a great ship to add to the game. But all this is just really just hoping and wishing. And, you know, I had a relative that always said, you know, if you filled one hand with poop and one hand with wishes, which hand are you going to fill up first? So, really though, I, I do think we are going to get this split at some point in the future. Mark my words. I said it first. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Maybe if I shout loud enough and hard enough and hold my breath, we'll get it. Or maybe Wargaming is just going to say, screw it, we're building some more Soviet tech tree lines. I don't know, but I'd love to see it, and I hope we get it this year or next year. That, that would really rejuvenate a lot of things for me, because like I said, love, love, love U.S. battleships. And California, I, I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of fun in it. Once again, testing has been fun in the ship. It's a lot of fun in its own tier when it's top tiered. A little harder to play when you're bottom tiered. You just got to play smart. And it's going to take you a while to get around the map. But it doesn't really matter. Because, again, it is a beautiful ship. They rendered it really, really nicely. I just, I just love how wide it is. Now, there's something about it. But again... In the comments of this video, let me know what would your ideal USN battleship split be? What tier would you split at? And what would the ships be in the split? Would you, re would you rearrange things? Would you move things around? Would you keep it as is? Or, you know, you look at what they've done with the Russian cruisers. They, they've completely removed Moskva from tier 10. Maybe Montana gets removed. And they do realign the Iowas and make them hit a little harder like they should historically. That's an absolute travesty in my opinion, but it is what it is. Anyhow, let me know your thoughts. Hope you all are doing wonderful. I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.